speak a simple word. Oh God, they will touch our heart and they will hear us. As the sample through the device, they will touch his lips. And not only his soul, but his soul himself. But the one that will come over here, who will to me? A man of my dreams. When the fire of God comes, you will only see God in the of hell. How unworthy you are. How unworthy you are. And the party of the rough people. Not only he saw himself, he saw the crowd. He saw the people that are dying like him. The God who answers my heart, let him be God. Hallelujah. It's exciting to see. Hallelujah. One of those American kids is saying, the ghost. Uh, on the movie Ten Commandments, he was the one man that uh, took the character of one Moses. Something has He had that macho image. Man that he took the voice of more brave when the way. But the Moses in the Bible, it was so timid that he left. They found me, they no more about the Lakata Lanka. They didn't want that. They didn't put it, that was the wrong character. I mean, he spoke of a character that was so timid that, uh, uh, because Moses is the most humble man in the Bible. But the one that they took to, to portray Moses in the Bible was something else than a soul. He was that much of image that he can live. But Moses was like Phoebe Herbert, he said. Something like that. There was an actor that was. Elijah said to the prophet of God, 
choose one of the bulls and prepare it first. Since there are so many of you, call on the name of your God, but do not light the fire. So they took the bull given them and prepared it. They, then they called on the name of Baal from morning to noon. O Baal, answer us. They shouted, but there was no response. No one answered, and they danced around the altar which they, they had made. And noon, Elijah began to taunt them. Shout water! He said, surely he is God. Perhaps he's deep in thought or busy, traveling or traveling. Maybe he is sleeping or must be awakened. So they shouted louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom, until the blood flowed. Many day passed and they continued their frantic prophesy until the time of the evening sacrifice. But there was no response. No one answered. No one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, come here to me. They came to him and he prepared the altar of the Lord, which was in the wings. Elijah took twelve stones, one of each tribe descended from Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Your name shall be Israel. With the stones he built the altar in the name of the Lord, and he dug a trench and, and around it large enough to hold a series of seed. He arranged the wood, cut the bull into the plural, into pieces and laid it on the wood. Then he said to them, fill four large jars with water and pour it on the offering on the wood. Verse, 30, verse 37, 36, at the time of the sacrifice, the prophet Elijah stepped forward and prayed, O oh Lord, God of heaven, I said in Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all things in your command. Answer me, O oh Lord, answer me. So these people will know that you are O oh Lord, our God, and then you are turning their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the soil, and also licked up the water on the church. Father, Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this wonderful time for visiting us, speaking to us, igniting the flame in our lives, opening our eyes of understanding to see the wonderful truth that is in your word this morning. Even your Father, we thank you for your anointing. Thank you, it is already here, Father. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the enlightenment of our spiritual eyes, our spiritual ears, so that we will know and walk humbly before you in all our lives, in all our days. We give you honor, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Whatever the acquisition, you know what? Right from Italy. From from right from Italy. This is the throne room of God. There's only two ministries they got there. There's only two ministries. Intercessory ministry. We shall fight. We shall fight. We shall fight. Go down. We shall fight. We shall fight. We shall fight. We shall fight. The acquisition ministry. You know what he's doing today? Of course, I will take it. So, Satan is no longer in there. He no longer can do that. Because he's been cast out. You know what he do? He's going through the saints. Because you and I are saints. We are the only one that is accessible to the throne. That's what he's doing. Now, nah. because he can't go there anymore to accuse no one. But he's walking through saints, you and I. That we are accessible to the throne, to the right of God, to the right of Jesus, that we can start to accuse and do this, and do that. But, hallelujah, the other ministry is in this session. We shall fight. We shall fight. So many brothers. So many sisters. Hallelujah. And not 
lot of peace. Why do politicians, lawmakers, and our judges make laws that allow marriage? Hallelujah. Uh, homosexual, lesbians, etc. All of why? Because they are they are destroying human society. Why? Because they have abandoned God. They have abandoned God and his divine principles. That is why. It is normal. To them. But the heavy level. There is no God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are dangerous people. And they are desperate people. Looking for something to fill the vacuum that is in their life. They're not going to look. We tell you to be cut in there and put more oil and water in There is a vacuum in their life. Only Jesus, as you and I know, as you and I can pray, we can have nothing in the bag, nothing on the table, no food, but there's plenty of food. What happened? She didn't know what happened.
He's dead. He was 39. Thank you, 39. He is one. He is alive. Hallelujah. He is real. He responds us. He is on the throne. When he's on the throne, there is all power. That is available for you. Whatever you need, it is available for you. Because the God that you serve is in Or Master and Kanye. Or so and what I was a time for his time. And I'm a man of the left and the one who not. And they will move you to If you think you can go around the world, they will move you. Now who could be the one who knows my time for the world? And I'm a man of the past. And I'm a man of the past. And I'm a man of the past. And I'm He is attentive to your needs. He is attentive to your prayers. When you call, he answers because he listens. He is alive. He is not a good one. 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 Sí, no, 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 no,
Fighting out of the blue corner. Matt Falou. We've seen Matt Falou on a number of occasions. He has a powerful right hand. Referee for this contest, also Ray Mitchell. Boys receiving the instructions from referee Ray Mitchell. Brendan Dempsey, about a four inch height advantage over Matt Valu.
to the body from Matt Valu. Brendan Dempsey comes back with his own left rip. Matt Valu, Brendan Dempsey. throwing the big ones. Brendan Dempsey with straight lefts. Left rip then from Brendan Dempsey. Balu comes back left and right combination to the head of Brendan Dempsey. then from Brendan Dempsey over the top of the head of Matt Ballou. Good uppercut then from Dempsey. Left rip from Dempsey as Matt Ballou comes back with left-right combinations to the head. End of round one. Matt Ballou with John McColl and the oldest second in the business today, still going strong, Billy Smith. Seconds down. Round two. Big punches from Matt Valu now. Big right-left combination from Matt Valu. Brendan Dempsey comes back with the left hook. Right uppercut to the body. Left rip to the body from Brendan Dempsey. Attempted the uppercut but didn't connect with Matt Valu. Left hook that time from Matt Valu just caught Dempsey. Four left leads that time from Brendan Dempsey caught Matt Valu. Good scoring punches. Left rip again from Brendan Dempsey. Good left hook that time from Matt Valu. Right to the side of the head of Brendan Dempsey. Matt Valu on the attack now against Brendan Dempsey. Attempts the left hook. Matt Ballou with an overhand right but didn't connect. Left, oh, good left hook from Brendan Dempsey right to the side of the chin of Matt Ballou. Left rip from Dempsey. End of round two. Seconds out. Round three. Brendan Dempsey right over to the corner of Matt Ballou. Good straight left from Brendan Dempsey. Right uppercut from Dempsey scored. Matt Ballou comes back with a right left right combination. Left rip then from Dempsey. Straight left right uppercut from Dempsey. Valu with a left hook. 
caught Dempsey on the arm. Another straight left from Dempsey. Dempsey with a powerful straight left. Short right uppercut attempted by Dempsey, but just fell short as Valu comes in with a right hand. Oh, Valu with a big right hand to Brendan Dempsey. Caught Dempsey flush on the chin. Looks like Dempsey could be in a little bit of trouble. Ballou comes back on the attack. Left-right combinations. It looks like Ray Mitchell stopped the contest. Midway through round three in favour of Matt Ballou. Knockout. Ray Mitchell just having a word with Brendan Dempsey. The winner there, Matt Ballou. boys for the main event have just stepped into the ring. Tommy Roberts will be fighting out of the blue corner. Joe Knight fighting out of the red corner. Announcing Anthony Nardu. That's Anthony Nardu in the black jacket. <laughs> Jeff Peake just entering the ring. The caption, the good fighters, Jim. Referee Ray Mitchell 
Ringside adjudicators, Ray Wheatley and Mr. Desmond Bloyd. Both boys just being called to centre ring by referee Ray Mitchell to receive their instructions. Ten two-minute rounds. Tommy Roberts fighting out of the blue corner in the white shorts with black band and piping. Joe Knight out of the red corner with the black shorts with red band and piping. with big punches. Roberts leads with a straight left with a right hand. Left hook from Roberts, caught Knight on the gloves. 